bitch bow down to a motherfucking G ho. I work hard, I drink slow, but I never keep drinks slow. Smoky, smoky, cause I'm a chief ho. Sipping on pee, no greasy ho, greedy ho. Got everything like I caught me a genie ho, yeah. My car look like a building, diamonds dancing on top of my wrist. Bitch, I'm 10 feet tall when I'm standing on top of my dick. You a sucker ho, sucker ho. You too, what's up, what's up? This is your man, Cloudy Poker Chips. Back at you with another look at a fresh pair of kicks. Uh, if you guys can all tell by the box that these are a Jordan 4. These are a very anticipated release. Uh, these did drop on Black Friday. It seems like Nike has a tradition of dropping uh, black kicks on Black Friday. Uh, Jordan brand anyway, which is uh, definitely okay with me. This particular pair of shoes uh, is definitely in my opinion, uh, one of the best drops this year. Uh, these are really anticipated. And um, I was really glad I was able to cop a couple pair. I did cop two pair. Um, these were a general release. So these weren't that hard to grab. But you definitely had to be on your toes. Um, even um, with these GRs that drop nowadays for any release. My pair came, um, I haven't got my other pair yet, but this pair um, I caught from Nike.com and I did receive them today, which is extremely quick shipping from Nike.com. I am on the East Coast, so I'm uh, pretty lucky to get my pairs uh, quick because they ship from Memphis, Tennessee, which is um, pretty close to where I live. Um, but uh, the shoe itself is a classic colorway. Um, everybody knows the bread fours um, with the Spike Lee commercials with the uh, 360 uh, death defying dunk uh, Mars Blackman just you know a classic um, classic shoe that just brings back a lot of memories for me um, the ad campaign itself uh, was ingenious uh, maybe one of the best ad campaigns ever in the Jordan brand. Um, they've had some pretty good ones, but um, this one I think was probably one of the best with Mars. Uh, you do get your hang tag, like most other fours. Um, the tongue, you got your red jump man with the flight. Got your gray lace locks and your black wings. There it is, hard plastic, like on your other 2012 releases. Um, the material is a real nice suede. Uh, it's actually a uh, really good material. It is the same material on your Cav 4. If you guys uh, have the Cav 4s and you haven't got these yet, um, you can expect that kind of material. Um, luckily, my pairs came pretty good. There are a glue stain here too, and maybe a spot on the um, new buck here and there. But, you know, you can't really complain because you're going to get what you get. So, um, just kind of hope that they're not real bad. Uh, I was able to cop my true to size, which are a size 12, and they fit pretty good. Um, most of you guys have the other fours, and they fit exactly the same. It's exactly the same mold. It's just uh, different colors on the shoe. Overall, real happy to get these. Um, I really wish they would maybe make a a Nike Air Jordan, but uh, I doubt we'll ever see that again. The inside of the shoe is like every other four. Uh, this one has the red insole with the Jumpman in white. But I can't wait to rock these. I'm really glad I got two pair. Again, one of my favorite Jordans of all time. Um, it brings back a lot of memories. I did not have these as a kid. Um, I was pretty young when these dropped and one of my buddies had them and he had lots of money and he pretty much got whatever he wanted and he always had the fly kicks and I always wanted these and um, you know I always saw him wearing them and was like damn I gotta have those man I gotta have those and uh, I wasn't poor um, but I wasn't rich either and my parents uh, weren't about to go out and drop hundreds of dollars on, on shoes for me in grade school. Um, I had to work for my shoes most of the time. 
um, did little things like, you know, wash cars or cut the grass, hit up my grandma, you know. You did what you had to do back then um, to get a little bit of spare change to buy your kicks. But um, I never was able to cop these. Um, I'm glad I finally have them in my collection. This is my first pair of bread fours ever. So um, this is definitely, uh, I'm going to say it's a grail. It's not my holy grail, but it definitely is a grail just because of what um, it stands for. And I remember when Jordan rocked these shoes and the commercials. And just seeing them on the feet of uh, you know other kids and just being envious and wanting them. And uh, now that I'm able to cop, man, it's just uh, it, it, it's a good feeling when you're finally able to, uh, to get something that you wanted for a long, long time, even if it's silly, like a pair of shoes. Uh, a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, this is a real nice shoe, real clean shoe. This shoe is going to look good with a lot of stuff. You can rock these with shorts really easily, um, jeans, khakis, um, anything you want to rock these with, you're going to be good to go. Camo pants. But um, definitely uh, hit me up with some comments. Let me know what you guys think about these. If you cop these, if you passed on them, uh, if you tried and couldn't cop them. Um, hopefully you guys didn't pay over retail for these. I know that if you haven't got them by now, you will be probably not too too much but uh, you're definitely going to be dropping a couple extra bucks to pick them up so again these are the 2012 Black Friday Jordan 4 in the bread colorway um, bread basically just stands for black and red if you guys don't know that but um, these are definitely a hot uh, hot shoe, a hot drop and I can't wait for the Jordan 11 braids that drop uh, in a couple weeks those are definitely anticipated and I can't wait to have those I do actually have a pair of braids from the CDP pack which I've uh, pretty much wore out um, they're pretty yellow and I cannot wait to get a fresh new pair but please let me know what you guys think rate, comment, subscribe check out my other videos and YouTube thanks for watching be safe